So we're at my workbench and this is a standard Tirana throttle pedal or accelerator pedal. This one is a V8 one. My car is a V8, but it actually uses a six cylinder one. That's the arm for the pedal. That's like the pad with the spring that um, allows it to kind of swivel a bit under your foot. And that's the pivot point that um, fastens to the floor of the car. So the first thing I did is I got a bit of cardboard like this. There's just an old scrappy bit that I'd already used for a template for something else. I can't remember exactly what. And I set this up and just put it on the cardboard in the position and traced it out. I put it in a position knowing that I needed to be kind of in that corner with the end of it in the end. So I just figured out... Um, I want to bring it forward, you know, 50 mil and down another 15 millimetres or what have you. The fact that it's a V8 one means that this here is a little bit further down. So the uh, velocity ratio is such that it pulls, like it gets a little bit more travel in the cable for the same movement at your foot. But um, I think you can kind of work with either. It's not a big deal as long as, because every, every car is so modified with carbies and linkages and all that kind of stuff anyway. Uh, mine's on fuel injection and it's, uh, it's designed to use the six cylinder one, no problem. So anyway, I put that on there and that's where it worked out that it kind of came to. And I used that as the starting point. Then I cut and welded a standard six cylinder pedal in such a fashion to extend it. And now if you kind of line up the lines, which I think that's done reasonably well, you follow that to the edge and, oh, here we go, it's in the corner where I wanted it to be. So it's in the new position. So I have um, cut the section out there and welded it in. I've just added some holes because that's just what I do in everything. And um, in addition to that, so that's the kind of movement in that plane that brings it further forward and further down towards the floor, so closer to the brake pedal um, in two axes and there's another axis which is very simple to manipulate it's a bit harder to capture on the on the film maybe but um, I've actually slackened off that angle there so I've just put that in the vise and straightened this one out and I haven't really changed the angle at the bottom that's kind of the same so in the end when, when you're in the car the new pedal position will be a little bit like there kind of thing. It'll be further towards you, further down, and it'll be angling in a little bit. I don't think any of those are bad things. I think they're all good things. And that allows you to do nice and easy heel and toe. You can do this to any Tirana. It'll make it a lot better to drive in the hills. So I've set my car up with the V8 pedal, which it didn't have. It actually had a modified one already. So it's got a, a rusty looking one from the video that you saw before in there now. It's only kind of dodgily hooked up, but I just wanted to demonstrate for the video how this kind of works. So if you look at the way that my foot acts with the brake, it's incredibly difficult, no matter how you kind of try to do it, to interact with that. Even when you're on the brakes pretty hard, you can kind of barely give it much of a blip at all. So now we'll put the new one in and we'll see how that looks by comparison. Just doing some um, accelerator pedal changeovers. I'm not sure if this is best practice, but I wanted to be able to remove the pedal easily um, without the cable being under tension. So I just <laughs> cracked the pot, uh, cracked the throttle and threw an extension bar in there. I'm not sure if that's kosher, but it seems to work okay. So the car is back together with the accelerator pedal I was working on, which is the now painted in gloss black. It's got some stainless nuts and I've greased up that shaft that it mounts on. You can already see it's much closer to the brake pedal um, in kind of all axes and the position generally just looks way better for me. So let's, um, let's give it a go. <clears throat> so I'll hop in here now and I'm just using, you know, I'm just wearing normal shoes, not like um, work boots. Work boots make it a bit easier, but I wanted to demonstrate with normal shoes. So if you use that kind of technique, it seems to work okay. If you just, you know, flex your foot across the two of them, that works bloody fantastic. Um, and then the more conventional kind of heel-toe method there, they are all work they're all working fantastic. If you really 
you know, leaning on the brakes hard, you'll be able to get a very quick blip going on. That's exactly what I wanted. And um, the other thing I should mention, you can't really see it well because I've just made the carpet sit over it pretty, um, pretty much like a normal shape. But there's actually a kind of dead pedal there. So I'll put some photos in that show how that's done. And that essentially means that, you know, when you're cornering and stuff, you're not in a race seat in these cars normally. So you can put a lot of force into that that part of the floor. And that kind of holds you back in the seat really well um, to give you a bit more lateral location of your torso and stuff like that without needing to have harnesses or a racing seat. Uh, most modern cars just come with that and Tiranas don't. So I've probably brought the floor section up maybe... 40 millimeters or something. I can't exactly remember. I did it years ago. I just uh, put the standard carpet, like the brand new Knox carpet straight over it. And it seems to fit fine. It doesn't really stand out in any way. I didn't really want it to stand out. I just wanted it to work better. And um, I've tested it so far, just with a little bit of driving I've done. And it's good, it's a good improvement. So I'd recommend both of these things. The throttle pedal is free and that's free as well. That's just a bit more work because you got to you know, pull some more things apart. But if you're putting the car in a rotisserie, to me, it's a no-brainer. So just make sure it doesn't get in the way. Make sure that your clutch pedal can still go down next to it, um, which probably shows it off more than anything else does. You can see the pedal goes next to it. So you can tell that there's a box through the carpet when you put your pedal in that location. But otherwise, it's um, super subtle. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.